That is Butterfly's Queen, Naja. And we do have a queen of our own, and she's uh, uh, the baby of the bunch here at WJP. Helps us out uh, with our marches and our outreaches, and I just cannot say thank you to Jessica Smith um, enough. Uh, Jessica, thank you so much. And now, um, I'm so thankful that I didn't know that you were a little writer, Jessica. <laughs> Jessica has some author up in her, y'all. And uh, she just <laughs> penned this new book, Elohim, Bless My Babies. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I, I'm really I, I'm really intrigued. I see uh, the way that you did it. Mm -hmm. uh, even though it's a children's type of book, mm -hmm. it's still written from the heart, from an adult mind. Right. Uh, a prayer for mine. Tell me a little bit about Elohim, Bless My Babies. Um, Elohim Bless My Babies is, as it had been described to me from others who have read it already, mm -hmm. um, that it's like a declaration that when you read it aloud, it's like you're speaking that into your children or even into yourself. Because I always say for people who may not have kids or whatever, or even if you do, when you say it, it's like it's speaking to the child within you that needed to hear those right. words, you know. Right, and, and it's written, I see you took the style as if you were like actually praying yes. about said child or children. Uh-huh. You want to talk a bit, why did you pick that style? Um, well, it wasn't intentional, you know, when it was really? written. It just okay. came out like that, you know, pretty much just a call for God to just let, let them know that they're beautiful that they're perfect just the way that he made them. And what comes to mind when I think about it is um, the clip that I heard of Malcolm X asking, you know, who taught you to hate your hair? Who taught you to hate your lips, your skin? And this is like an answer to, um, well, now I wouldn't even say, a, you know, it's like, you know, to, to his question is just, okay, because that's going on and a lot of, children or people may hate the way that they look this is to let you know no your hair is beautiful you know your hair represents power and majesty your skin is is you know that's that's what god himself knitted together to make you look your lips your nose your everything about you is just perfect and don't let anybody else tell you different as they inhale life mm -hmm. Elohim, mm -hmm. bless my babies to know the power of their nostrils yes bless them to be aware of how they Take in power with every breath they breathe. Amen. Bless them to know how their nose plays a vital role in their existence. Yes. Their nostrils are vessels of life. Mm -hmm. Bless them to never despise their nose. Yeah. Elohim, please give them a wisdom. Give them wisdom to know how their nose represents power. This is this is off. Teach them about how it illustrates the divine story of life. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, when you think about that, even with breathing, and I heard um, as I was waiting to come in, you played the Shirley Caesar song about right. um, Flo uh, George Floyd right. and how, you know, and, and even hearing um, Al breath. Sharpton talk, you know, at doing a eulogy for um, George Floyd about the breath. Our breath is just, it's powerful. And even I go further in, when, in, in mm -hmm. that part where you just read where it's it crazy. said... Um, your breath is so powerful that there are some who will go to unheard of lengths to take it away from you. So know that every breath that you breathe means something. Mm -hmm. And just know that just like your breath means something, your sister next to you, your brothers next to you, their breath means something too. So it has right. to matter to us with every time that we inhale and exhale. That is powerful. Yeah, it's a this. statement. Mm -hmm. um, Elohim, bless them to know their breathing is so powerful that there are some who will go to unfathomable means mm -hmm. to take their breath away. Yes. Like the tree, their nose is a catalyst for life. Yes. Bless them to never despise their nose. Mm -hmm. And this, I want folks to know, um, we have to stop all of this. My vote doesn't matter. My vote doesn't count. They're going to do what they want to anyway. Uh, I'm not marching anymore. It doesn't make a difference. It doesn't work. Well, this book, Elohim, bless my babies. Mm -hmm. You hear where her passion comes from. Redirecting the negatives that have been spoken into yes. the lives of our young people Absolutely. when we're not around, how society treats them. Mm -hmm. My father once told me, you know, a 60-year-old man, black man, can still be a boy mm -hmm. outside of his own home. Right. Um, and here we go. Remember the little black doll and the white doll yep. test that was yep. done mm -hmm. when Jess was probably just a little baby? Mm -hmm. Well, here you have product of that. Yes. Do you understand where I'm going with this, folks that are listening? 
Don't say what not is not working. Don't because it's so minuscule to you, mm -hmm. but it works somewhere else. Mm -hmm. And if we had not had that black dog, white dog, tell me, tell me what are you talking about? There was an experiment that was done mm -hmm. where black children, black little girls, were picking the white baby dolls, and and the scientists didn't know why. Well, because of how they were treated. Right. Even in their own home, mm -hmm. where mothers would say, you little black cell. Right. You know, nappy head. Nappy head, yeah. Right, nappy head. <laughs> and so they didn't yes. want that to play with. Mm -hmm. They wanted the white, straight-haired, mm -hmm. right, dog. Yeah. And so, but look, what that experiment has produced, 20 years later, some, I'm just going to say 20 years, I'm not, never going to ask a woman my age. <laughs> <laughs> Over 20 years later, not much though. Right. <laughs> we'll, go that, it, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll go with that. Uh, Elohim, bless my babies. Yes. And it's, it goes, it talks to you in today's form mm -hmm. of all the wonderful characteristics yes. that we should be thinking Elohim for. Right. Your hands, your feet, everything. Like, I love where it it's says. Awesome. Like, I know, you know, I'm not trying to hype it up, but I really do admire this work because when okay. it talks about, yeah. like, your feet represents possession, like, we need to know, we need to know as well as the babies that we have the power to own things. We don't have to just be renters or buyers. We can actually own things. And your hands, they represent, you know, labor of love, work. They represent life where you can give and feeding people. You can give and helping and nurturing and healing. Well, so. how can they get this book? Because, you know, we don't <laughs> want to give it too much away. But right, we want you right. to get this book. And this can be a great learning tool, yes. strengthening tool. Mm -hmm. I'm going to um, definitely um, get one for the Black Hi History Tour that we're on. Oh, awesome. Because this Thank will be you. a good asset to that. Mm -hmm. um, I want to ask you one question, then we'll go right to okay. how can they get the book. The artwork. Mm -hmm. Where, is these, are these pictures of you and your siblings or, or just kids that you've chosen? Yeah, They're kids that were chosen, and it was kind of like animated to where it didn't look exactly like their pictures, but it just more artsy, I would say. Yeah. And it just paints a better picture to me of what, what I'm trying to say with the words of the book. Elohim, Bless My Babies by Jessica Smith. How can they get it? Um, they can go to Amazon right now and get a paperback e-book. Um, and I'm also working on doing an audio book because I know there's some yeah. who don't really like uh, reading. reading, you know. So but, but they rather listen. Yeah, yeah, it can be motivational. And yeah, you plug in your book. You Absolutely. Know? So uh, yeah, yeah, they can go right to Amazon and order a copy um, and get an ebook if they like that format better. They can get a paperback copy, and you know when the uh, audio book is. Available. I'll make sure to let you know. So. Yeah. And now, um, how can I get in touch with you to find out more things? Because uh -huh. you're involved in, in a, a plethora of things. Yeah. With <laughs> a great group of young people. I think is phenomenal. Thank you. Thank you. Um, they can follow me on um, Instagram at author writer. The word author and writer together, and just Jess. And then I'm on Facebook as just Jess. Just, and just. they can follow me on either platform. They can follow me, friend me, whatever. I'll accept your request. <laughs> and Jess will be with us October the 17th mm -hmm. um, for, the as, for the rally. For the rally, the UNI rally. This thing is um, so awesome. It's a move. It's a marathon. Mm -hmm. It's a move of Christ. Jess, Elohim, bless my babies. I can't wait to... Uh, read it myself Absolutely. and I will come I want you to sign it oh, I want to come in we're going to talk about this book okay. um, more often we want to bring you back as well oh, definitely. Um, and make okay. sure that we give out a couple copies okay um, and uh, uh, let people know uh, this could be a very good tool we're in virtual learning now mm -hmm. um, we're trying to teach our kids more uh, to, to love themselves more mm -hmm. uh, in this day and age we're living. This will be a great, great asset and a great tool to use. Thank, Thank you. you, Jess. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. You're welcome, man.